was your day or night rather <laughs> you know most people are getting ready for work at this time but your work day is already done oh you must be really tired to collapse on me like that I'm guessing today was pretty stressful, huh? I'll make you some tea, so why don't you lay on the couch and tell me all about your day? There. Are you cozy? Hmm. The couch feels a lot more comfortable than usual. Oh, and that's because I went ahead and sewed some new couch cushions for you. And the lady at the fabric shop was so sweet. She assumed my horns and tails were fake. <laughs> she thought I was cute. Hmm? I should try to hide the fact that I'm a demon a little more. Mm, I don't really see a point in doing that. Most people in this era don't believe in demons and such. But besides, I'm always getting complimented on how cute I look. And I love that. Hmm, Fane. Hmm. Isn't Pride one of the seven deadly skins? What kind of demon would I be if I wasn't at least a little bit vain? Hmm. If I'm a demon, then why haven't I done all of the evil things you've told me to do? Mm. Well, I may not have done all that stuff yet, but I am plenty evil. Here's your tea. It's hot, so be careful not to burn your tongue, okay? Uh, don't look at me like that. I. I haven't forgotten about our contract. You said you wanted me to destroy all the things in your life that were causing you stress, and in exchange I get your soul. Mm. So why hasn't your workplace been burned to the ground, and why is your boss still alive? Mm. Well, I got sidetracked making sure your apartment is nice and clean, and cooking your meals, and you know, sewing the cushions took quite a while since you don't have a sewing machine, so I had to do it by hand and stalling. Mm, maybe a little. If you really want, I can fulfill your contract now. Mm, we can watch that horrible workplace of yours burn to ash, and I'll let you listen to that useless boss of your respect for his life right before I tear him into pieces. How does that sound? Hmm. After our bedtime routine? <laughs> now, which one of us is really stalling, I wonder? Before we start, your shoulders are a little stiff, aren't they? Hmm. I thought so. Whenever you come home, you're always rubbing your shoulders. Let's take care of that, okay? Mm. You know, while I was out today, I picked up some massage oil, and when I saw it, I thought about you. So I just had to get it. Mm. I assume it's good quality. It smells really nice, and the bottle is glass, see? Mm. Now then. Why don't you take off your shirt? Not for any weird reason. It's easier for me to massage your neck and shoulders without your shirt in the way. Besides, you don't want your work clothes all covered in oil, do you? You don't care? That's because you're not the one doing the laundry. Now get rid of that shirt. Now, you just relax and drink your tea, and I'll take care of those stiff shoulders. Am I doing a good
good job. I've never really given anyone a massage before, so let me know if I'm being too soft or too hard, okay? You know, when you first come home, you always look like a zombie. Your skin is all pale and dry, and you have huge bags under your eyes. And you don't pick up your feet when you walk. I can tell you're home because I can hear you dragging your feet down the hallway. You look a lot better now, though. Healthier. I like that. How's your insomnia? You often have trouble falling asleep, right? It's probably because you work late at night into the next morning. Your body's internal clock must be all messed up. You've been sleeping a lot better since I got here. I'm glad. You look like you're dozing off already. Not yet, okay? You still need to brush your hair and clean your ears. Besides, you shouldn't sleep on the couch. You made your bed and fluffed your pillows. It would be a waste if you fell asleep here. Do your shoulders feel better now? Mm, that's good. Now, let's brush your hair. I like running my fingers through your hair. Even though it's a tangled mess, it's actually quite soft. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. How was your day, or night, rather? Not great? I thought you might say that. Well, why don't you tell me all about it? Maybe venting a little will help you feel a little better. said that to you? That's not very nice. I'm not sure if it means anything coming from me, but I don't think you're useless at all. You're a hard worker, and you're really smart. I've learned all kinds of things about the human world because of you. You've never once yelled at me, or gotten upset at me for not understanding something. I like that gentleness you have to you. I think you deserve a lot better. I'm a demon, so there's no way in hell pun intended, that God would answer my prayers, but I do hope one day you'll find a place where people value your hard work and care about you. Mm -hmm. Of course you deserve that. You don't have a very high opinion of yourself, so you don't think you can have nice things and a nice life, but I think you do. Okay, sure, you summon the demon to, you know, wreak havoc and murder people who you don't like, but that's only because you've been pushed so hard. And even the nicest, sweetest person has their breaking point. Just because you snap underneath so much pressure that arguably shouldn't have even been put on you in the first place, that... It's not indicative of whether you're a good person or not. You're just a human. And sometimes humans... snap. And it's not a bad thing. So, I really hope you're not ashamed... that you summoned me.
I'm sure if your workplace wasn't as exploitative as it is, I wouldn't be here right now. Hmm. Anyway, it's not like you've ever been all that pushy about me fulfilling your contract. Hmm. After all, if I did, it would make you tea when you got home. And brush your hair. And clean your ears. Sure, you can do all that stuff by yourself, but... Let's be real, you were pretty unkept when I first got here. Slowly, but surely, you've been looking a lot healthier. And a little happier, too. That makes me happy. Oh, Alright, all done. I decided to save your favorite part of the night for last. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, I know that your cleaning makes you feel really, really relaxed. And you get to rest your head on my lap. Something tells me that's what you look forward to the most. <laughs> mm, you know... Having your head on my lap makes my legs feel a little numb, but you always look so cute and peaceful, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Don't look all embarrassed. I think all humans are cute. You know, taking care of you is like having my own little pet that I can spoil rotten. <laughs> Something tells me you're not too bothered by that. Well then, lay down. <sighs> you always twitch so cutely when I blow in your ear. the other year now.
Mi ha fatto il medico. Selfish of me to want you to enjoy a life that you hate so much just so I can spend time with you when you come home, but please stay my spoiled pet for just a little longer, okay, sweet dream? 